Okay, so for measurements of the side piece, lay the chair onto it and cut a piece that's just above the length of the chair, so just over the, the height of the chair rather, and just a little bit thicker as well. And that's just so we can make a hem um, along one edge. It doesn't have to be too thick of a hem, but just to stop that fraying. Again, if you've got a nice fabric that doesn't fray, um, you don't have to do the hem. That's that, and I'll just pop that one to dry, and I've already done the other side earlier. So the hem goes towards the back of the chair, and that's going to curl over like that, so we've got a bit to stick onto the seat. That will go down there and then we'll have a bit to take underneath as well and once again we'll be tidying up all those edges under there with one single piece. So lay the piece in place and get this side pattern if you've got one lined up first and you want this to come back as far as you can so really sort of push it into that back um, foam there against the back edge. Push it in as far as you can and then we need to cut out a section for the leg. So holding the material nice and firmly in place. Oh, it's gone really sunny out there all of a sudden. hope you can still see me okay. It looks awfully dark on camera. And then just cut up alongside that leg. Don't go too high because that the bit that we're cutting out has got to stay sort of level with the side. That'll all stick in there like that. And then again, on this edge here, I want to create a little hem. So cut it away, but lower than the actual top of the leg. If you see what I mean. And we'll make a little hem on there so that bit doesn't fray. And then these front bits, once we've glued everything, we'll tuck in over the front of the leg. So as you can see here, my fabric is a bit too long, so I'm just going to trim a bit off. I'm going to take it along that line there. just want probably even less than an eighth of an inch to curl over that front leg. And again, we'll be covering that with a separate piece. So it's all about sort of building it upwards and covering all the little bits. So I'm just putting a little tiny hem in there. So we don't want it to sort of bulk up on the leg there, but also we don't want it fraying. Again, I just want to measure, make sure I've got that exactly right. Yeah, so where that fabric ends, you want it so that it's right in line um, with the bottom of the side piece there. Otherwise, you'll have like a little section missing at the top of the leg. I just put my finger in my glue as well. Things just aren't going right today. I think it's because this is the first video I've done for such a long time. I feel I feel like a bit of a newbie again. Okay, like that off. Okay, this piece on the inside here, just sort of level again with the seat. We want to snip away so that we haven't got anything hanging over there. So get it lined up. Get it where it should go. And then you can just snip a little bit back from the front edge, like that. You don't need to go up very far. And then we'll actually leave that there till we've glued it in place, and then we can trim that off. So we'll put a bit of glue along the side. Don't go onto that back leg, but you can just go along that overlapping fabric there. 
that bit will still be exposed, remember. I want to come underneath as well. And put a little bit on the front of that leg. And then on the inside of the arm. Again, try not to get too caught up in the modding. And a little bit on that seat as well. Let's bring the piece in. I'll get it lined up on this outside edge, which is more visible first. Remember to push that hem back as far as you can into the back of the chair. Getting into a sunny patch. Your hem there should be level with the side of the chair. I'll just curl that over a little bit more. And then you don't want it too tight on this inside edge because you don't want it to be ruffled along the arm. So just make sure that's nice and even along there. Push it into the corner at the back as well, and then we can just snip off that extra bit of fabric there. You can come a little way up the side, because don't forget we'll have the cushion in there, which will be about a quarter of an inch thick, so that will hide that. Cut that little square out there, and then we want to bring these flaps in onto the arm. I'm just trimming away these frayed edges. So fold in the sides and then sort of work the top in like that. And this will be covered, so just get it as neat as you can, and you should have that sort of little round pleated edge at the top there. If you do one side and then need to put a little bit more glue on, you can do that. Press it all in. Come forward a little bit with the camera. like that. And I'm going to go away now and do the other side in exactly the same way. And then we'll come back and we'll finish off the back and the underside. Neaten all those up. And we'll do these little front panels just to tidy up the end of those arms. Okay, so I've drawn the curtains across because it's so bright in here now. I don't think you can um, see very clearly on the camera. That's the other side done. Now we're going to tidy up um, this back. So cut the fabric so that it's just slightly um, wider than the chair on the top and the sides. So you probably want a quarter of an inch for hem all around the side and top and then probably half an inch again for the flap underneath. So begin by um, creating those hems. You want one along the top and one along each side. And just while I'm gluing that, I'd like to tell you about um, my Facebook group. I'm sure some of you watching this will actually be a member and it's called Little Bits and Pieces by You. And it's just a place where you can show photos of the things you've made um, from any of my books or from this YouTube channel. And then we also have, um, every Tuesday we have a day called Over To You Tuesday and it gives you a chance to post your own projects. And today's Wednesday and I was just looking at um, some of yesterday's posts and there were some fabulous photos on there. So even if you want to sort of be a non-active,
active member just to come and have a look at other people's work then please just come and join um, you might find you'll get a lot of inspiration on there and I can also let you know about upcoming um, tutorials, upcoming books we share tips as well people ask a lot of questions on there about projects and things they're working on there's over 1100 members now which is brilliant but it's a lovely fun and friendly group so I hope you'll um, come along and join and you can find that if you just go onto my Facebook page you'll find a link to the group on there okay so there's the back piece all hemmed up I'll just let that dry for a moment and then we'll come back and attach it okay so once your glue has, has dried off a little bit lay that on the back where it's going to go line it up um, with your pattern if you need to and then we just need to cut out um, a space for the leg um, so cut along the inside of the leg there up to the height of the back like that and the same again there now because this is at the back and I know that where this is going to be positioned in the room the back won't be on show I'm not going to do a hem along there so I'm just going to snip those off so just make sure that that's in the right place so just hold that in place at the top and that will go like that so then you can once you know you're in the right place you can then just snip those strips off like that and then apply glue I need a little bit more on my card so in fact you can you can do it either way you can apply it to the the back or or to the fabric and I'm going to put it on the fabric just because it's easier it's on a flatter more even surface and put a bit on that um, flap underneath as well get it right along the top and to top it all I've just noticed that the um, camera battery is starting to run low so I'm just going to try and get this bit in really quickly <laughs> and then I'll go and charge my battery okay, quickly before I cut off so lay that into position and then tuck that underneath and the camera just clicked so I think I'm going to go so if I cut off <laughs> you'll know why and press that all down you don't want it overlapping so that it, you don't want it to be seen from the front so make sure you're within um, you know the the side the back and then pull that down underneath make sure your leg joins level okay just managed to get that in before the battery goes so I'll go and charge the battery and I'll be back in a bit Right, OK, we're back and we have a full battery. And that's me and the camera. I left it to, until after lunch so that the sun had moved round. So the curtains are open and it's uh, much better lighting now. So I hope it didn't get too dark for you before. So we've covered the back. We're now going to tidy up that bottom part. So cut a square that is just as big as the sort of base of the chair so just stand your chair on your fabric and cut around it and then again we're going to hem over each edge so start by doing the opposite edges and just let that dry off for a moment and then you can turn the piece round and do the 
opposite sides. And always just let it dry off for a minute or so, just so that when you come to fold over the next hem, the one that you've just done doesn't just unravel. That can happen if the glue isn't dry. So try to be patient. <laughs> It's like I said to you um, earlier about having always having sort of another project on the go, and then whilst your glue is drying or you're waiting for something to set, you can just move on to the next thing. So you're not waiting about or becoming impatient to finish it. Okay, once again, we're going to let that dry, and don't worry about these corners overlapping because we're going to just snip a little bit out of each corner to fit around the leg um, underneath so don't worry about those if they're sticking out. Normally um, if we weren't trimming away the corners I would have just done a little triangle cut on that second fold just to make it a bit neater but in this instance we'll be trimming away a tiny bit at each corner just to make it fit. Okay so once that piece is dry just snip a tiny square from each corner, it doesn't have to be exact, but maybe about an eighth of an inch, three millimetres. We really do need to sharpen these scissors. Okay, and then turn the chair over and just lay that in there so it's in the middle. And hopefully you'll find that fits nicely around the legs and don't worry if you've, if you've got a little bit of gap in you can if you've got a sort of fabric that gives a little bit you can stretch it out but if not it, it doesn't matter it's, it's underneath anyway so again we'll apply glue to the actual fabric that'll be easier than applying it to the underside of the chair get it right to the edges of the fabric we really need to press those down so as we can't see anything hanging down from sort of below the chair. And then just lay that into place. I'm going to stretch that out a little bit. And then really press down these seams like that. Now we've got a nice neat bottom. Okay, so lastly we're going to um, tidy up these arms. Okay, so I've just cut a strip of paper from the bottom of my notebook. That's thin paper. We don't need any um, strength out of this. It doesn't have to be thick, just the flimsy sort of paper you've got. And then just cut a strip for each arm that is narrower than the arm by a little bit so that it's level with that seat at the bottom there and so that it's just shy of the top of the curve of the arm there. So cut a strip for each one and do measure them separately because I found that one of mine is just slightly longer than the other so I must just have a little bit more height in that top arm. So do measure those separately and then you just want to cut um, the fabric and again because I've got that stripe I've got a stripe coming down the centre there of the arm so I want that to continue over the front so when I cut my piece of fabric I'm just going to bear that in mind. And on the other one it's slightly off centre. So I'll just cut a strip like that. You really don't need it much thicker than the card. Oh, than the paper, sorry. So just have it a little border around the edge. And that, that is still probably a little bit too thick. So I'll just trim a little bit off. And you just want a tiny border at the top and bottom as well. So if you apply glue to the piece of paper, like that, and then lay that onto the fabric, 
keeping your pattern where it needs to be and then you can put glue on the other side and this is again where your fingers are going to get really messy just fold all the fabric over and I'm taking some of the glue off even as I do it so you might need to reapply so do one side first and just pop a little bit more on there So just a straight fold along that bottom edge. I'm just going to snip those corners off and make it a little bit neater. Just fold that over. My fingers are getting covered. And then this top bit, you want to sort of try and round it off. So fold over each edge like that and that will sort of create a rounded sort of top bit like that and then you can just measure it you don't want it to go sort of right to the top of the arm because we want um, to just to see a little bit of that pleating around the top there and then you can just check where that bottom bit is and see if you need to snip a bit off which I do or, or fold another little bit over rather so I'll just put a little tiny dot of glue on there and fold that over and then you can just glue that into place so again apply glue to the back of that and this is where you've got so much glue on your fingers, everything sort of sticks to your finger. I'll pick it up like that. And then pop that into place. Make sure that bottom edge is straight. And again, push it down really firmly reshaping the arm there, the foam my centre stripe is a little off centre now I think because it's such a busy pattern you can't really notice it too much so that's okay, I'm happy with that so I'm going to do the other one now and then we'll come back and finish our chair off with the seat cushion Okay, so we're going to start by making a cardboard template um, for the actual upholstered seat. So take your rule, and I like to use my 6 inch rule um, for smaller measurements like this. It's just more easy to handle. These are available, by the way, in my Etsy shop. <laughs> Shameless plug. So just lay, you don't want to push it right into the back, you don't want the seat going right into the back like that. So just lay it in front of the sort of upholstered part and take the measurement and then across as well and then you just want to deduct one millimetre from each of those measurements so effectively we're taking half a millimetre off of each edge and that will just allow for the thickness um, of the fabric so there's my piece of card and then once you've cut it just try that in there and that should just fit nicely in there so you don't have to sort of fold it or it doesn't get stuck when you try to take it out and then apply um, glue to the card. I'm actually going to do it there on the, the rougher side, the matte side. And then stick that to your foam. And if you can stick it along a straight edge, then you'll sort of save on, on foam. So you won't need to cut so much away. Like that. And then just use something to weigh that down. A flat edge on there and then pop the the weight on top of it like that and leave that to dry okay so once you've allowed enough time for the glue to dry you can cut around the card like that keep
keep those pieces of foam because they might come in handy for another project. And then I've got some double sided tape here. This is 25mm thick, one inch thick. And we just actually need one piece of that across the centre of the card. Stick that down. Slip that off. Leave the back in in place for now. And then just bring your fabric back in. Just make a piece there. And then we just want to cut a square of fabric. Um, leaving about three quarters of an inch or 20 millimetres around each edge. We have the scissors. Like that. Okay, so if you've got um, a patterned piece that you need to line up with this front edge, just make sure that your cushion is sitting in the centre and then you can line up um, so I can see here for example I've got a line right at the edge of the cushion so I'm making sure that that line there is at the edge of my piece of foam so I know that that's in the right place and then if you've got a pattern that you need to set right from front to back this edge will be the front edge and we're now going to make some slits so whichever edge you need at the front so along here on your chair, so that will be this edge of the foam, that's where we make the slit. So always make the slit along the front edge of your fabric. And we want to cut level with the foam and just to the corner of the foam there. And we're going to do that on the other side as well. And then we want to do that at the back as well. Same thing again, just to the corner of that foam. And then we want to make another cut beside that one, or to the outer edge of it, that is the thickness of the foam. So that's about 6 millimetres. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit under 6 millimetres and just level with that line that you've just made. So you're creating like a little flap like that. Do that at the other side as well. Turn it round and the same thing again. So you're going to the outer edge of that first slit and level with the first one. Okay, so now remove the uh, backing from the tape. I'm just doing it now because it's easier than when we've stuck the first bit of fabric up. And sometimes you just have to curl the actual tape back on there. Like that. And then just apply a little bit of glue to each of those little strips we've just cut. onto it with the uh, double sided tape and that one as well and then I should have actually done this first I'm, I'm forgetting again just cut out this um, corner square that can go would have been easier to do if there wasn't glue on the strip just not thinking today must be the heat. I blame the heat. And that one and that one as well. Okay, and then bring, it doesn't matter which one you start with, but bring the side up and stick the flap along the edge of the foam. The same with the other side on the same edge of the foam and pull it quite tightly so this is nice and tight against the side and the same with that flap going along the edge of the foam there and the final one like 
that. And then these are already coming in, but then I'll just show you what we've done there. So we've just glued those strips along the edge of the foam at either side. I'll have glue on that but I don't think. And they should sit along the side there. And then you want to bring in these sides. And again, don't pull too tightly, but so that the fabric sits evenly across there and there as well. And if you've got anything hanging over there, you can just trim that away. I'm just going to pop a little bit more glue on that strip. Put a bit on the foam there. Stick that down. And then just apply another tiny little bit of glue at each corner there. Same on the other side. And then you can bring over your front and back edges. Again, I've forgotten about putting the glue, a little bit more glue on the fabric. You've got the sticky tape in the middle for it to stick to, so you just need a little bit more on each bit of fabric. And then pull that over again, keeping it not too tight but just nice and even. And if you've got stripes you can just use them to make sure that they're sort of staying straight, don't look too wiggly. Same on the other side. And then like we did at the back of top back of the chair, you can just pinch those corners together. Like that. Put a little bit more glue in into the gap if you need to. Pinch that into a nice neat corner. Trim off any threads. And then like I always say in my tutorials, always choose the neatest edge to go at the front so that will be visible. I just trim that off and I actually think it's this edge. That's nice and neat along there. So then you can try it in before you apply the glue. See if you're happy with it and I'm so pleased with those lines. They match up beautifully there. A bit of glue on top of the fabric. Just scrape that away. So I'm happy with that. Remember which is your front edge. And you can apply glue to the back of the seat. side of the seat rather. Like that and I've just splashed glue on the front again. Just scratch that off and then just pop that into place. Remove any glue as soon as it touches the fabric if you're having a sort of messy day like I am. Press it down along that front edge so that you don't have a sort of too big a gap there. And that's all the glue coming off my fingers now. I should go and wash my hands really. And then press the seat down, push it into the back
down quite tightly and if you're not happy with how the um, edges are looking you can just squeeze a little bit of glue in there and push those against the arms. But that actually looks quite nice, that's quite a nice fit. I'm just sort of manoeuvring it a little bit to get those stripes to line up at the back as well but I think that's a really good match. done. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I think it's a nice fun little project. If you're new to um, upholstery that can take some getting used to but once you know how to upholster things um, and I'm still learning as well there's so much you can do, um, so many pieces that you can make and if you don't want to do this exact chair I hope you've picked up a few um, upholstery tips and I will be adding in, like I said earlier, my own um, chair and sofa for my own doll's house. So that will be another um, upholstery project. So if you have enjoyed this, please um, give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. As once my fourth book is released later this year, which I'm working on at the moment, um, I'll be turning my attention to YouTube and I want to turn the channel into a sort of magazine style channel where I'll be doing product reviews, um, hopefully interviews with other makers. I'll be out and about visiting places um, and bringing you sort of dolls houses in some of the stately homes around England. I'll maybe do a bit of a, um, a video blog, a vlog, what I get up to in my workshop. So anything, any ideas you have, just pop them below and I will read them all and I'll action some of them as well. I just want to make it into a really sort of useful um, channel for dolls house lovers and miniaturists. Somewhere you can sort of come for tips and advice and loads and loads of tutorials so you've got something for every room of the house. So as always, any tutorials you'd like to see, pop that in the comments below. And also, don't forget to check out my books. I've got three so far, all filled with easy-to-follow, step-by-step tutorials. They're all available to purchase from Amazon, and I'll pop the links um, to the Amazon pages below as well. So, all that leaves me to say is thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.